What's up everybody, Monkey Puzzle here, and it is a nice overcast day here at Appalachia in Fallout 76. And today, I wanted to do a little tutorial on how to build this. This is something I showed off in a showcase a couple days ago. It's a concept build here for the camp mobile base system. There's the camp, and I talked about basically there's two ways to go about building your base in uh, Fallout 76. One is to conform to the environment and build something that fits the particular terrain where you like it. And that kind of base would be very hard to move afterwards. Or the other strategy is to try to design a base that is the most easily movable. So you can place it everywhere. So you can see I did that here. I'm on the side of a hill that would be very hard to place anything except a single foundation. Even two foundations would might be tricky here. I'm just here because there was a little event over in that place over there and uh, me and some higher level players defended a bunch of bunch of Scorch trying to save this little robot while he repaired the place. And afterwards I was overloaded so I just threw down this here and I was able to scrap all the stuff I picked up and store it and I was good to go. So just really quickly let's take a look and then I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to build it step by step. So obviously this is going to be a bit longer of a video than the last one. Um, but folks asked for this, so I'm going to do it. So yeah, single foundation. We got a stash box offering for other players down there. We've got a couple different levels going up with the steel staircases and the turrets to the protect place. And then we get up here and there is a chemistry bench where other players, if they make it up here, can scrap stuff. And then I've got it pretty much sectioned off got locks on the doors got all the shutters open this time pretty nice view actually from here and then yeah i've got all my other crafting stations tinkers weapons armor a stash box for me and then the roof where i got the cooking station little hangout furniture my bed and the grand piano <laughs> waterproof of course so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and take this apart right now i'm just gonna get into build mode and we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to just start storing stuff. So I got to press RR a whole bunch of times. And then when I'm done with this, I'll come back and we'll put it together piece by piece. One thing real quick, though, is uh, we should check out. Um, there was a few questions that came up last time. One is about the cost of moving it. So you can see right now it'll cost me 19 caps to move this thing. So as I take it apart and then I move the camp, let's see if... It's based on how big the camp is or how often you move the camp. So just wanted to check that out real quick. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to start going ahead and taking this apart. And then I will meet you on the next sunny moment. And we'll put it together as quick as we can. All right. Okay, so I got it all down to that one single foundation. And again, the point of this is that one single foundation is easy to place. And rather than just having a single foundation with a few crafting stations on it, I wanted a full budget base that can be moved anywhere, anytime. So yeah, down to that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that one up. Now I could just rebuild it right here, but since I have this down to nothing now, except for everything being stored in here. Got it all in this little tab here. The whole thingy. Which actually is a good time to uh, see what all the parts are. So I got some furniture and the piano, the crafting stations. And so here I've got 24 upper floors. I've got two stash boxes. I've got some chairs and some decoration. Let me see. 28 doorways oh 28 walls i think that one happens to be a doorway but the, all the walls count as the same thing whether they're doorways or shuttered walls or solid walls so i got 28 walls and then uh, i've got two doors and let me see we got four ladders uh 12 of these rectangular upper floors i'm using the grid model but it doesn't really matter I've got seven posts. One of those is extra, so actually six posts, uh, six turrets, and one foundation. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go find a prettier place, 
or at least a little bit nicer with a little fewer hostels and I will meet you there and we'll move the camp and we'll see how much it costs. Um, what was I talking about? Fewer hostels? <laughs> I'm not sure <laughs> that I have succeeded in that yet. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Yo! Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. That was my first real encounter with one of those. See you soon. Alright, I moved to the first place I ever built my camp on this nice little ledge. This is actually a pretty flat area where you could build a decent sized base, and I did here initially. I lived here for most of the game so far until I started doing this. Vault 76 is right over there. We got the sun coming up over the hill. So we should have some good light over here pretty soon. So let's go ahead and put this down. So it's still 19 caps there. Now I do have the whole base stored. So technically I am still at full budget. So maybe that could still be it. Let's go ahead and put this down anyway, right there. Cool. And then if I was gonna move it again, how much would it cost? It still costs 19 caps, so it's not going to go up the next time. So maybe it is about still having a full budget. I can't really test that right now because I don't want to scrap all that stuff. <laughs> anyway, I just stored it. All right, we got full daylight now. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. So let's go ahead and get into build mode. So we're going to be working out of our store tab for this but generally you'd be getting them from each of the, you know, appropriate tabs. So let's start with our one foundation, which is the whole point of this build. One foundation, so it's as easy as possible to place this anywhere in the world, even though we're doing this in a nice big flat spot right here. So right now, that's as high as it will let me place it. And one thing I want to show you guys real quick is there's a weird thing about foundations is that you actually don't need a ladder to get up on them. You can see my character here. I just kind of float up the side, so <laughs> we won't talk about that. But if I put a, a staircase down right here, and this is how we want to place the staircase here is like that. Coming in from the edge and going up over the top, you can see I've got a bunch of different snap points um, but you just got to fiddle around. Sometimes it helps to rotate it the way you want it. Now, I did that because I want it to be symmetrical and have its center of gravity over that foundation. But if you didn't care, you could have stairs going off like this as far as you wanted within the build radius and the game wouldn't care. It just wants to have the next floor attached to the stairs. But I'm getting ahead of myself here. Or what I really wanted to show you was that now that I have that staircase there, I can't just walk up. Maybe, no, I can't even jump from there. So in order to get up on this, basically you got to place the, let's go ahead and store that. You got to place the foundation a little bit lower. Otherwise you got to have another staircase coming down from that one, which you could do, but then you got more pieces on the bottom that you got to place when you put the thing down and I want it to be just the foundation okay so now that we've got that established let's go ahead and do that okay there we go we're done with the build no wait not quite <laughs> we're getting there this is my starting point there's other ways you could start over in the stair section they have these little prefab ones these guys which are kind of a tease because you can't build these yourself. The so snap points wouldn't work like that for you, but it could be t really tempting to use this. And you can see I've kind of modeled the one I'm building off of this as close as you can get to it. Now these need to go, oh gosh. Okay, <laughs> one second folks. I'm trying to make a video here. <laughs> How rude.
Okay. <laughs> Where were we? All right. I was talking about these things. So they have to snap two foundations or they can snap to the sides of other stairs. The problem with these is you can't stack them. You put one down. Let's see. We can go ahead and do that weird snap point there. Sure. We'll do that. If you put one down, let's pretend there's two foundations underneath there. <laughs> they just won't stack. Uh, it won't do it. And I tried all kinds of ways. And if you wanted to only go one story high, you could use those just fine. But I wanted the real tower. I did try this thing of I did all this funky stuff to get one on top of the other. And then I tried to blueprint it. But it will not let me place that blueprint down, even though it's got what I want there, right? I wanted to be able to do that even higher, but it's complaining that the selected item is floating and what it's talking about is the second one on top because that's an illegal thing in this game. So you can't do that. So that's why I went ahead and made my own. So let's continue on with that. Go ahead and scrap that and go up from here. So the way that upper floors work in Fallout 76 is they have to be snapped to stairs. They can't snap to walls. They can't snap to any kind of pillars or columns that I could tell. It's got to be the stairs. Stairs hold up buildings, which is weird, but uh, they really care in this building system that you can actually access things. And if you try to remove the stairs afterwards, it won't let you. So anyway, I chose to use these mainly because I was trying to look like that other thing, but also because I wanted to keep this a little slim profile here. Um, so they snap right in the middle of the wide part. They won't snap on that narrow edge. And these are the half piece of, of these, the full sized upper floor. So if you call this a two by two, then these would be a one by two. And then just to show you guys, since we're demonstrating everything, if you try to use the one by one, they won't snap to the top of stairs, no matter what you do. So that's why you couldn't build that prefab that's in there. And that's why they give it to you. Anyway, let's move along here. So I went ahead and did that and that and kind of spin these kind of the way you want. And then they'll be most likely to snap how you want. It can be a little finicky but uh, just play around with it. I'm still learning the nuances of finding all the snapping points. Oh yeah, and I'm actually should be over here in my store tab. And there we go. There's the next level up. And then let's do the next level up there. And there. I'm using my left and right mouse keys to rotate these. If you're on console, of course, you'd have to use whatever works on console. I have no idea. And there's the next one. And then that's going to go up to our final floor, the main part of the place, which is going to start up here. Let me find floors again. There they are. And I'm going to start out with that orientation and boom. So we've made it all the way up. Now you can see that is a lot more lean than what I built before. And that's the bare minimum you need to be able to get up there. Um, you don't have to wrap all the way around and you don't need any other support except for the stairs. Now that doesn't work for me because in real life that would just collapse. So what I did is I went and had added some extra pieces just to have the uh, support or the, the appearance of support. And these will add to your building budget, but it was worth it for me. There, I want those um, because, yeah, I care about these things. We're losing our light, so I'm going to have to take a break and start over in the daytime again. But yeah, I use these things. They're called posts and they're at the bottom of the stairs tab. And they're interesting. They don't do all the things that I would want them to do. They won't snap on the corners. They will snap in the middle and they'll snap on the two sides of staircases. I mean, I might have a point right there. No, it doesn't seem like it. 
So, and they can be very strange and finicky. Um, and what I wanted to do, and I'll show you where these guys are. They're over here. All the way at the bottom of the stairs. Like that. And they will not stack. I wish they would do that, but they won't. You can see up there it's green. If I try to... Oh, it will place there. Weird. It's very strange because there's some places where it'll turn green. Like, okay, let's try there. Oh, it's doing it for me now. Okay. Hmm, maybe I can use these. Very inconsistent, folks, because when I had the floor above it... Um, let's see. It wouldn't do it for me. All right, well, maybe we'll do it this way this time. Before, I used doorways to give some support because I wasn't able to place those above, but this time, it let me. All right, so we're losing our daylight, so I'm going to meet you uh, when the sun is overhead again. And that'll give me a little time to mess around with this. It keeps getting brighter. I don't know if the sun's hiding behind the clouds or it just can't decide whether it's night or day. So let's move on a little bit more while we can, even though I hear the crickets. So now that I put those columns there, no, now it won't let me place these. So strange. Oh, maybe it will. Okay. Yeah, so I want these to go all the way around again for that symmetry, but also because I wanted to uh, be able to get all the way around here in case I'm being attacked, use this as a vantage point to shoot down at things like those ghouls that just attacked me. Okay, so we got those two levels supported, and then this one... Let's see where else we can put it. I'd love to be able to put it at the top of that column. Doesn't seem like it's going to let me. It will let me put it here. So I guess the trick with these is you have to put them before you put the floors above them. I don't know. I've heard various things like they work better if you build downwards. Um, there's also a short version of them. But I'm going to work with this. I don't know how much more this added to my building budget. Because that's more pieces than I used before. Actually, let's do it like this. And I'll get rid of the other ones. So, actually, we should just move these. There. And, okay. So, there it is. We've got more semblance of structural support. I was not able to get that to work last time. I don't know why it worked this time. It did use more pieces than I used before, using doorways to uh, give the appearance of support rather than these columns, but I like this a lot better. So at night here, uh, you can go ahead and see the silhouette of this main structure, and you can do this bottom part however you want. This is just all how I ended up doing it. My own version of those little prefab ones. It kind of got me on that tip. Anyway, I am going to wait till there's more light now. And then we will go ahead and build the main story. So I left the server and rejoined a couple times. Because I found you often come back in random times of day. And this one time I came back, there's actually somebody in my spot. This is my spot. <laughs> So we'll get to see uh, what happens when I have to put this back. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave this instance and rejoin again. Okay, it's a bright sunny day now, but apparently I still do not have a camp anymore. It's put me down here by this uh, lumber mill. So I'm going to make my way back up there. This is the spot where that is, by the way. I'll see you in a bit. No, I don't want you. I want you. Okay, home again, home again. <laughs> Had to kill the liberators up by the vault. And then it looks like I got to clear this area one more time. But they're only level one here. Oop, they still got a hit on me.
but it still remembers I cleared those things out. Anyway, let's get back to business. Do get the mute fruit again. All right, so here's the spot. Let's go ahead and pull our camp out again. So to move camp, it's actually, oh, I don't have a camp down anywhere. So now it's free. So if someone takes your spot, um, you don't have to pay again. So that's interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead, put that down. All right, well, let's go ahead and go see if this is stored. And it is. So that's great. Some people were commenting that their stuff was being stored in multiple pieces. In the last patch notes, they say they addressed that. So hopefully they did and you guys won't have that problem anymore. But also I think keeping it just a singular design like this on a single foundation also must help with that because I didn't have a problem even before they patched it. A not place item needs support. You know what it is. It's those pillars or columns or whatever they are. They're decided that they actually don't want to be in those places now. So yeah, those things are weird and unreliable. I'm going to just remove those. But now I got to figure out, I know there's a way to break your stored stuff up into multiple pieces. And I got to figure out how you do that. There we go. If I press store... It says delete blueprint and store all component objects. So we're going to have to do that. And I'm going to have to throw the thing back together real quick. All right. I'm going to spare you guys the details this time since I already went through them. And I'm just going to put it back together real quick and meet you where we were at. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put these posts. That's what they're called back. Um, Cause those never gave me any problem, but I'm not going to put them up on those ones because we saw what happened with that. So this, give me a second to find another place where these will snap and I can delete them all. Oh, I can just scrap them from in the menu. There we go. So those gone, now I'm just gonna do it how I did it before, using the doorways to give some semblance of support without adding too much to it. So I'm just gonna do that you can't place them right in the center there. Um, and to add two more on each side, I'd have to add four more on this side and four more on that side. And that's just too much. Um, it would look more supported, but then it would just really mess with my building budget. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like that. And I can go ahead and put this one in right now, but I can't put the one on the other side because I have to put the upper floor first, I've already learned, rather than um, this first and then the upper floor. It just won't go. All right, so before we go any higher, and <laughs> we're already losing daylight again, we're back where we were. Let's go ahead and find where my turrets are. We're gonna go ahead and put those in, because um, those are important. We've got to protect the bottom here in case I get bum rushed again. We'll put those guys down and now it's getting brighter again. All right. And then I put four more up in the corners up here. Azo. And so my budget basically allows me to have six of these. And so far that's done me pretty good. I haven't tested it against higher level things. When I can get higher level turrets unlocked, I'll probably replace these with those. I don't know how that will work out for my budget. I have heard that the budget goes up as you level up. I haven't really been able to test that, to experience that. So we'll see how it goes. Um, and all folks also asked how I was able to build this much in my budget. And I, I just was. That's, I'm at level, what level am I? I am at level 23 right now. So, and this is how much budget I have um, to build this whole thing. All right. And while we're here at the bottom... Uh, one little thing I'd like to add down here is a stash box. Um, this is just a little nice offering to players who come through. They can stash their stuff. And I've got these little succulents too, which add to my budget, but um, they help people know that this is a nice place and not to be messed with. A little psychological thing. And then last thing regarding defense, 
is that I got a lot of comments asking what happens if this gets knocked out down here. And the truthful answer is, I don't know. But I have not seen any physics in this game where when you remove something from the bottom, stuff comes crashing down. Just hasn't happened yet. Let's see if we can remove this foundation. No, it won't let us pull it out right now. I can't damage it myself right now to be able to tell. If I equip my grenades and toss one out. I don't seem to be able to damage my own stuff at all. So we'll do that as another episode. After I get that built this time, I'll bring a friend and we'll see if they can blow out the bottom and what happens when they do that. <laughs> all right. So we got a little bit of light left. Let's keep moving on. Till is dark again, and then I'll have to take a break. And I won't switch servers this time because I don't want this to possibly get lost again. So here now we have another upper floor established um, by this staircase so we can go ahead and keep going from there so i'm going to use the full-sized floors and just come around i care about them all facing the same way so i just rotate and then snap sometimes they go how they want and notice that there is a half position that you could take advantage of if that somehow worked for you. And there's lots of ways to do this. This is just how I chose to do it. You know, obviously it's completely customizable, but I just folks wanted to see what I did. And this is how I did it. All right, so we got that wrapped around the staircase. And what I did from here is I just made a little bay on these four sides. Nope. Oh yeah, that's right. Sticking out like that. One more goes right here. Oh, that goes like that. And then each of these is going to become a little place for a crafting station. And I liked it because this also gets it off the grid. I always try to get outside the box with my builds and not just be square. So this, I felt, adds a little interest to it. So now we can go ahead and change these to the shutter windows because I like windows and we're, I'm going to put windows all the way around because that's just how I like it of course you could use any kind of wall here but I just like having a view everywhere especially if you're going to be in nice places like this then it's very important then <laughs> to go open all the windows. There we go. And now we definitely are losing our light. So since I want the video to look good, I'm going to wait till the next day and I will see you for the next part. All right, it's daylight again. We got the sun coming over the ridge and this is where we left it. So let's go ahead and finish up this time. Should have plenty of light now to get the rest on. So yeah, we've got the tower base all put together as best we can with the parts we have. And then now we're up here in the main floor. We've got the upper floor of it all put in. We got these four bays. We've got the shutter walls. And before we go ahead and do stuff in here, let's go ahead and put the final level. So let's get into building mode and now let's get our last staircase and fiddle around till we get its snap point right there and then once again stairs support upper floors we'll keep it at the same orientation as the last one and there we go and i just go ahead and put this one together and i'll meet you on the other side Actually, as I go around here, I should just remind you all that since the stairs support the floors, I can only attach floors to pieces that are attached at some point to the stairs. So like if I tried to put this over here, it won't go. 
because it's not attached to a stair. It doesn't matter that the wall would give more support. It's got to, at some point, connect to a stair. Okay, there we go. We got that in. So let's go ahead and finish down here, and then we'll put the little amenities up there on... I'd call it the roof, but those are technically not roof pieces. So the next issue is that right now anyone has access to our place. They can come right in. There's no door or anything. What I would like to do is be able to put a door at some point, like right here, but it won't let me do that. It conflicts with the stairs and I've heard mentioned that there might be some painstaking way to pull it off, but I don't know how. So I adapted and instead what I did is I put a door here and a door here. And now we should have two more walls left. And so I'm going to put a shuttered window there and a shuttered window there, just so people can't hop right over there. They could feasibly hop from here to here. And so to deal with that, I, you can pick anything that you think would work. I picked these chairs right here because they, you know, something I might actually use. And they do the job when I try to jump over here. 99% of the time I hit the back of the chair and fall down. Um, there may probably some bigger things I can put there, but I don't want to bulk it out. And I'm not too worried about folks getting in here. I'm just, you know, when you're trying to discourage a burglar, you can never completely prevent them but you can make it inconvenient enough that they just don't bother and there's nothing they can actually steal they can just grief the place and if they could do that they could do it down there so we're not going to worry about that uh oh hold the phone i'm recording this after i recorded the rest of the video because a commenter named social tourist told me how i might be able to put a door here a lot of other people mention put the door first but I'm wondering how you do that because the stairs hold up the whole thing. So let's see if this works. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, have confidence and just scrap these. And then we're gonna go ahead and store these. So let's uh, store them and store this one, store. Okay, now what he said was to take them and rotate them. Bam. And then we can take this one. Well, actually, that one should be fine um, because this is the one I'm going to do. So let's go ahead from the walls. Let's do a door and we're going to put it. If I can move around here, we're going to put it here. Bam. OK, and then go back into modify and grab that and twist it. It doesn't work, man. You said it would work. But it didn't work. Ho ho! <laughs> I was able to do that. That's cool. Well, that'll work. Um, what I had to do is I shifted this lower ladder, um, as you probably just saw, and so you can have the ladder go up to a doorway. Apparently you just can't have a ladder come out of a doorway. And to do this, there was one little nuance is to, to shift this around like that. I had to move temporarily. Oh, one of these little rectangular pieces so that it had a snap point in the middle. Cause otherwise it would try to snap right here and it, that's not allowed. So now I can go ahead and put this back like so. And then I can move this one back like so. And sweet, we've got that little contained area much smaller and more secure. Now I just need to make sure I can put a door on this and yeah, actually, let me do a little bit more rearranging. And there you go. I just rearranged it like that. So now I can run all the way around. The visitors do lose access to this now. I might need to put another crafting station downstairs as an offering. 
but my area is more secure. I don't think they can jump from here to here. It seems pretty unlikely. Yeah, so that's maybe just a little cleaner. And definitely, if you want security, you don't necessarily have to have it. This is more secure. Cool. Thank you very much, Social Tourist. So now let's go ahead and finish this off here and put the doors in. So if you go back and forth with your mouse, the door will shift. I'm going to make it go that way, but I found you can't really control the swing of the door. So now that one opens that way, and this one's going to open the same way. So I think doors always open the same way no matter what. I've tried shifting this um, so it's facing in and facing out, and that didn't change the door. And the last bit about security up here is that if we get back into building mode, go to tab for modify and then we press F for lock. Now we can choose a lock for the door. So I'm going to go ahead and use the level three lock. So they have to have three perks in lock picking in order to get in and then they'd be wanted. But to get out of here, I have to get out of the building mode before I do that though. Well, let's go ahead and do that actually. Boom. Let's open the door so I can get around in building mode. And now in each one of the bays, their purpose was to have a crafting station. And in this one, I'm gonna put a chem bench because it's the one I use the least. And most of the time I'll be in the closed part if I'm home. But that is a nice offering for players who make it up here. They got the stash box down there and then they can actually scrap stuff up here. So hopefully that's a nice little piece offering, offering some utility people coming through and there's really no real reason they shouldn't be able to come in here it's just my feeling of my own personal space i had the doors open at one point and this guy comes clomping up in his power armor and i just kind of felt like an invasion of space you know <laughs> so that's just me you can do it however you want and then over here we got the tinkers tinkers workstation workbench yeah, so we got the four major crafting stations. I still need to unlock the power armor station. And when I do that, I'll have to figure out where that goes. Maybe somewhere like there or there. So I need a stash box up here so I don't have to run downstairs every time. So we can just put a duplicate of that. Put it in like right there. And I think we are just about there. Um, we got a few more uh, utility items to place up here. So we need the cooking station. I'm going to do that up outside so we don't get smoke inside our house. And then I have a nice view when I cook. And then let me see, we got the piano so I can get my little well-tuned buff. And this is the waterproof grand piano. We don't have to worry about it warping or getting out of tune up here. And then finally, We've got the bed. I'm gonna put it recessed inside a little bit so people have a little less advantage to shoot me when you're sleeping. I don't know if people can or not, but <laughs> they just might, so. And then just a few amenities. We've got some chairs, a little patio table. We've got some gunshots going off in the distance. And then these are just totally optional items. And if I need more, uh, more budget, I can let go of these. Find the one that's least damage, I think is that one. But just for now, just makes it feel more personable. End table for this. Yeah, we're just about there. The only thing left is just some little decorative objects. So I got these from the Atom Shop. I have not spent any money in the Atom Shop yet. I'm not really opposed to it, but I wanted to see how much stuff I could get just in-game. And so far, I have got everything in-game. Those doors, too, by the way, those are Atom Shop doors, because the one you get unlocked by default already has broken windows, which is kind of bogus. And then we just got a few little pictures to put in. These also will be the things that get to go. 
if I need some more space here. So I pick this one because it fits there. Those kind of pictures have issues because they um they they hide behind the the studs of the wall. And I like that. This is getting a nice little kiss. And then we got this right here. I like <laughs> this part's trivial, but we're we're doing it anyway. I like the outside world can never hurt you. That seemed like a nice little affirmation. And then no home is complete without. I'm a little worried about those gunshots out there, but uh, Mr. Pebbles. It's a little tricky to place this, but I know it can be done. There it is. And those things, like I said, are all optional, but they make it feel like home, a little personalized. And in Fallout 4, I used to decorate the place with junk all the time. Uh, had, that was my like my little collector's thing that made me feel like I was winning the game. All right, so I got a mute fruit there. And that's what I left a little budget for is just growing some crops. In fact, uh, I just picked up a corn in the middle of the night. I still don't have any potatoes. So it would be over here somewhere in food. So I think I can, I can grow a corn. And once I get potatoes, I will be able to grow vegetable starch. Might as well put down the ones I have. I need some food anyway. And some carrots. See if I have the budget for it. Yeah, I do. Okay, so that's all the food I can grow right now. It looks like actually I can do... Yeah, it looks like I can do a few more mute fruit. I've been picking up the wild mute fruit. And there we go. We are at our max budget. That's all I can do. I'd have to scrap a few things to do more. Let's double check and see if we have anything left stored. I don't think we do. Nope. That's it. So there you go. There is a maximally, maximally, <laughs> maximally mobile camp base with a full budget. There's some little wiggle room. Like I said, if we delete some things and you know, there's choices here, like we don't really need those doors and we don't really need these posts, but I like them. So yeah, there you go, guys. That's what I made and that's how I built it step by step. So there shall now be no mystery of anything I did. So I hope that's useful to you. And I hope that you find some combination permutation of those things that you would like to do for your place in the comments of the last video, which got quite popular. A lot of people said that they were building it or something similar. So up, oh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I almost signed off there, but I realized I would be remiss if I didn't show people how to move this thing and demonstrate that at this point it actually does successfully move. Because we had that little misstep when I had put the posts up above and it said it was floating. So I'm confident that it will move this time. So let's go ahead and go into here. Let's move camp. You can see it still says 19 caps. So I think as long as you don't move it too often, um, that's going to be my consistent price for a full budget base. So let's just move it over a bit. Someplace a little less ideal. Maybe a little harder to place. Over here somewhere, maybe. I don't know. How about right here? Let's just... Place this down. All right, spent 19 caps. My base is no longer over there. Let's get into build mode. And here's the moment of truth. In stored up here. Hey, hey, there is the whole base. Now let's make sure it places down and that we can do this. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Oh, it's intersecting. Bam. There it is. You can go down to mute fruit. <laughs> and I got some other crops to place down. Bam. I lost the progress on them, probably. 
But that's not the end of the world. Because now the video is over. And I can leave them be. Anyway, let's leave those for now. And yeah, that's how you do it. So I didn't blueprint it or do anything like that. I just moved it. And then the game automatically stores the whole base for you. And you can see the way I've built it now, it works. It doesn't give any kind of errors about floating or anything like that. As long as you're clear and not intersecting a tree or a rock or something else, you can place it down. You can see it's not very flat here at all. You'd have a very hard time placing a larger foundation, but the single foundation places just fine, just about anywhere. So yeah, with that now, I think that I can safely sign out. This is Monkey Puzzle. Thank you for watching until the end of this video. I hope it was useful to you. Please leave me all your comments, suggestions, ideas, um, but don't troll me, please, <laughs> down in the comments. And I will see you in the next one. Oh, and this is the video that never ends, but apparently I have unlocked the water purifier. And this time, instead of being having to be placed in water like in Fallout 4, it says must be placed in dirt. And here is the Atom Shop stuff I wasted on the clean skin for this. <laughs> and someone's shooting. Uh, but uh, let's see if we can pull this off real quick. Let's get a little generator down. Oh, be right back, folks. Oh, there's a good demonstration of the turrets in action. All right, so that should cover it. I will have to replace these each time I place the thing down, but hopefully I can just get enough water stored. But I had enough in my budget to put that down too. So hopefully that is the end of this video. I will see you next time for sure. Bye-bye.